Fun Pie, Fun Pie, Fun Pie, an awesome series about a Python uh, code building section. Now, this series is not about the loops and function. In case you're watching it first time, I have other videos as well. In case you're watching it in a course, then it's cool. So it's all series about uh, solving the problems and uh, brushing up your Python skills. So uh, let me just uh, quickly uh, show you what the problem is. And this is very classic problem and you're gonna learn quite a lot in this. In case you're following along with me, make sure that you submit the assignment as well in the comment sections, uh, the Q&A section. So here's a classical example of counting lowercase and uppercase letter. You might have seen these kinds of example in the password blocks as well. Sometimes on most of the secure websites, they ask you that, hey, you need to keep your password fairly unguessable and fairly uh, resistant from the boot brute force attack. Like you have to choose uppercase, a lowercase letter, some numbers and some special characters. These are, by the way, a good practice of using passwords. So everybody should, does that, should use that. Okay, so here's our goal. Take an input from the user. And in that string, you need to count the number of uppercase letters and the lowercase letter. Now, in the previous good old days, when we used to write the code in C and C++, it used to be a very typical task because uh, you have to convert everything into the ASCII values. And uh, then we have to compare the ASCII values from uppercase uh, for all A to Zs and for the lowercase, all ASCII values from lower A to lower Zs, which is the method that I never liked and uh, I, I, I never actually liked it. But luckily, code in Python is much more simpler and much more awesome. So we're going to do that. And further steps, I'll, I'm going to talk about what further assignment you have to submit. If you're following along with me, that's very good thing. So let's talk about it. So let's first write a simple pseudocode. Uh, the first problem is take uh, input from user. I need to correct my spellings. There we go. Nice. Okay then we need to actually hold a variable. So uh, there can be two variables there who can uh, monitor the count for uppercase and lowercase. Uh, so the next problem is uh, monitoring upper and, oops, upper and lowercase letters. Uh, it can be done via a dictionary, via different two variables, well, dozens of methods. It can, it can be approached via various things. Now, the next problem is very simple. Uh, loop through uh, loop through the string. So that's gonna be really simple. And once you have looped through the string, then you have to make comparisons. So uh, the first thing would be like compare with uppercase. And the second one would be compare, oops, compare with, what am I doing? Compare with lowercase. Okay, so that's the whole pseudocode that we need to do. I have break down this problem into various small steps and then we're gonna follow. So problem number one, take input from the user. So let's call this as user input. And that's really simple. We have just taken the input from the user. By the way, you can just read it there, a uh, quick word there. Uh, read a string from standard input. And my standard input is keyboard. You guessed that. Okay, let's move ahead. Problem one solved. Now monitor uh, upper and lowercase uh, letters count actually. Okay, that's much more precise. So you can use two different variables here as well, but I'm gonna be using a simple dictionary named as count. Okay, and uh, defining a dictionary is really simple because I want to make sure that this series use a lot of variables and a lot of stuff from here and there so that you can brush up your skills. And uh, that's gonna be simply, let's just call this as upper. That's gonna be just upper and this is the key. The value is gonna be zero because we are gonna be starting it at zero. If in case you are defining a variable, make sure that you initialize it via zero. And the second is gonna be the lower and it's gonna be also defined as zero. Okay, pretty cool. Problem number two being taken down. Now loop through the string. Now before we move on looping through the string, let me show you looping through uh, the string in Python is really simple. So uh, let me, I have opened up a terminal. Uh, in case you are not aware what's happening here, go ahead, watch the entire playlist. So I'm opening up a Python. Let me just show you how you can loop through the string very quickly here. So all you need to do is use a for loop for i in, where i is my defined variable. And I can simply say something like hello uh, there. And then I need to press a tab there and I can simply print the I. 
and uh, looping through a string is really simple and hit enter again and you can see that hello there is being iterated over the string it's it's pretty cool now uh, let me just zoom back here so this is how we are going to be tackling down the next problem and there we go so what i need to do is let's just say for i in and uh, we have stored the variable in user input there we go so we are looping through the input being given by the user. Okay, we are inside the loop now. Now I'm gonna put a if condition here. Now if user input, uh, because now we are what we are doing, we are actually looping through each of the letters of user input string. So what I'm saying, I'm gonna be using uh, dot is upper method there which is already built up already cooked up for me i don't have to compare the ask eyes values and everything just like in the c but again feel free to convert them into ask i and then make a comparison that would also work but this is i think a better approach okay and now inside the if if uh, block let's just use uh, the count uh, dictionary and what I'm gonna be saying inside the count dictionary there is my key that's uh, being known as upper and uh, what we need to do we just need to say plus equal one so we are just incrementing it by one obviously if you would have using a variable there it could have been much more simpler but I want to take the tougher approach I want to give you the easy approach Okay, there we go. One if loop is being, uh, if block is being done. Uh, now let's just say uh, L if, L if, there we go. And although I could have just seen else as well, but uh, I just don't want to do that. I want this code to be much more expandable uh, for the assignment. So that's why I'm using L if there. So L if uh, the user input the dot and you guessed it right there is a lower method as well is uh, lower I don't know why it's not suggesting but yes it's there I have already gone through the documentation if that's the case then what we want to do is use our dictionary count and uh, uh, oops I made a mistake there I actually, I actually have to use an equal there <laughs> uh, I actually saw that uh, just a nice catch there so use the count dictionary again and this time I have another uh, key there that is lower and what I want to do is again plus equal one if you found a lowercase letter pretty good pretty cool now for the else part and I don't want to do anything in this case right now so I'm gonna be writing just a pass keyword which will just uh, let it go don't do anything just complete my syntax there but I will give you an assignment of uh, expanding the things here okay that is pretty cool. I don't want to do anything there. Now I'll get out of the loop uh, simply by indenting the things. And I'm gonna be saying use a print method there. And I just want to say that upper case letters or letter count is, uh, let's just say, and uh, let's just use a comma syntax there. And I can simply use a count there and call the key. That's it pretty easy you can see programming is simply easy if somebody is teaching you uh, with the step-by-step -step process okay pretty good and I'm gonna say command shift D to duplicate that that's a lot of time saver and I'm gonna be calling another key lower and uh, I'll just replace it with lowercase letter count I am pretty sure that it's gonna work uh, for the first time but uh, sometime code doesn't work first time that's completely okay so there we go our program is there and let's just call python3 and uh, then we're gonna call it as upper i have named this file as uppercase u so make sure you ca you catch that and uh, there we go it's waiting to supply some input and I'm, I'm gonna say hey how is it going there so a random case is there let's hit enter and it says upper count letter is zero lower case, uh, lower case it's zero Okay, so we did some mistake there. Uh, let me just see what is the mistake there. I'm pretty sure that is okay. Uppercase and lowercase. And uh, uh, that that looks good. And uh, did I did mistake? Okay, sometimes you have to debug uh, all of the stuff. Uh, it's pretty usual for that. So let me just catch it up. Oops, I caught the mistake. And let me just write it here because uh, what I'm doing is I'm just using if user input. That's really bad. I shouldn't have done that. Now, we are, since we are inside the loop, we should use this variable. Oh, my bad, my bad. 
But this is very, very important part because uh, you need to learn how you can debug your string. Programming, uh, if, if somebody is thinking that programming is all about a smooth ride, never a bumpy ride, he should really understand it's a lot of bumps there. And you need to fix how to fix your problems. A lot of people are going to review this that, hey, the instructor was not ready. He, the, the things were not actually according to the plan. But believe me, this is the important part. You need to learn how to debug. Otherwise, you are not going to survive in the industry. So what I did quickly, I just analyzed it. I found, I figured it out that I was checking it for the user input. That is bad. I should have been checking inside the loop so that I can update my dictionary. So that is how it's going. Let's just try the script again. So let's just call this as uh, Python 3 and uh, upper lower dot py waiting for my input. And let's just say, hey, uh, how is it going oops i need to learn how to write going and there we go okay this time it's working let's just count it quickly one two three four five six okay so six uppercase and obviously the rest of them are a lowercase but it hasn't detected for the spaces or the numbers okay that's cool now what is your assignment Further, uh, also count the number of spaces and other characters in the string. So you need to write another if else block there. You can just change it to else if and you have to check uh, what are the number of spaces there. And uh, this can be done uh, simply by an equal equal check. And I hope you'll be able to do. And uh, just one more approach there, how you're gonna check for other characters. Now in this, I want you to take this exact approach. Count all the number of uh, letters there in the string so you have to count how many letters are being supplied just minus uh, the uppercase the lowercase and the spaces and the rest of the things are numbers and special characters so that's how you're gonna approach that i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it uh, make sure you rate us as well it's really always help but again uh, you'll be seeing rest of the videos like this as well we are gonna learn how we can debug the stuff as well so let's go and i'll catch you up in the next video